Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Kansas City Royals franchise, where we go over top prospects from AA Northwest Arkansas up to AAA Omaha. Last time we went over outfield prospect Alir Hernandez in AA, and now we're going to be staying in Northwest Arkansas to go over starting pitching prospect Josh Stalmont. Like I said, Stamont is a starting pitcher, a right-handed pitcher at that. He stands six foot three, 200 pounds. He is 25 years old from the state of California. He was drafted in the second round in 2015 by the Kansas City Royals out of Azusa Pacific University in Azusa, California. And taking a look at Stalman's attributes, he is a 68 overall that stands right now with a C potential, and the guy is an absolute flamethrower, a fireballer. He throws gas. 95 velocity rating, which in-game translates to him consistently hitting 99 miles per hour. Usually sits around 98, 99, dips in between those two, but he hits 99 even deep into ball games. And that's another thing. He does have the ability to eat up innings. He has a 78 stamina. He's not one of these guys who has to work on that or he's not going to be able to go deep into games. He does not have that issue. He's able to keep that velocity at max all the way through starts, which is definitely a thing that we are looking to have in the major leagues at some point. But there are some downsides to his game that will hold him back at some point that he needs to work on. But before we get into that, his repertoire is three pitches right now. He throws a four-seam fastball. Obviously, that's his best pitch. He throws a knuckle curveball, and he throws a changeup. His knuckle curve is definitely his second best pitch. It's a decent curveball. His break rating really isn't impressive. It's a 45 break rating, so the knuckle curve's on and off. Sometimes it's working. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes, you know, it's just iffy. So he definitely needs to work on developing more of the knuckle curve, but as it stands right now, that's definitely the closest to being his number two pitch, as the changeup is way behind the knuckle curve and a, definitely the fastball. The changeup really doesn't have much to it. It's slower, obviously, but it doesn't really have much break to it. He doesn't have much control with it. He's going to need to work on that pitch quite a lot if he wants to be a three-pitch pitcher, which he definitely needs to be if he wants to be a starter at the Major League level. Right now in AA, he's able to just rear back and blow 99 past hitters down in AA, but next year he'll probably be in AAA, and that could cost him in AAA, or it could cruise through that, but if he doesn't end up developing that changeup and he's mainly just a fastball knuckle curve guy, his future might end up being as a like stud reliever for the Royals in our system eventually. But we are hoping that he can develop to be a starter because we want that velocity in our rotation. We don't want that stamina of his to go to waste. But the one part of his game that definitely does not have any question that's going to be a strength that no matter what level he goes to is his strikeouts. He's currently leading the Texas League in AA with strikeouts, number one in that league. He was great last year. He's had back-to-back -back great seasons in AA for us. Like I said, he'll be in AAA in Omaha in 2020, and he could possibly work his way up to the big league somewhere halfway through 2020 or even be in the bullpen or maybe even the rotation. Who knows? Maybe 2020 will be a great year for him and 2021 will be his like year where he's in the big leagues in the rotation, or maybe he'll be in the bullpen. Stalmont also needs to work on his walks. He needs to work on limiting those. He only has a 45 walks per nine rating and he definitely is not going to be able to survive at the major league level with that low of a walks per nine rating. Right now, the issue in our bullpen that we have is that we have way too many relievers who walk way too many people, and we definitely don't want to add to that with another guy like Stalmont, which is what he is currently, and he that's going to get eaten up at the major league level. People are going to work the count against him, and he's not going to be able to get away with just throwing fastballs. So all in all, Stallman has a lot of things to work on, but he definitely has a lot of potential, especially because of his fastball hit hitting 99 consistently, even deep into games. I am confident that he is going to work on some stuff, and it's going to get better as the years go by. But as it stands right now, he definitely does need to work on that, like I keep mentioning throughout this video. And with that being said, that is going to wrap things up here for this video, the prospect profile of Josh Stallman, second round pick in 2015 by Kansas City. I have been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. Mama always told me, be careful who you love. Careful what you do before the lie. Lie becomes the truth.